Hey everyone! Now it's reading time to get the babies all ready for bed. They're all over there. Huh? Yeah. So up there, they're over there. So yeah, um, we let, we all chose a book. So the boys agreed on this one. The girls wanted this one. Huh? I agreed on that one, I was just saying. And then we yeah, chose that, that one. I got that one. <laughs> <Big> surprise. <laughs> okay, so we're going to read to them. Mm-hmm. And they're all just... So the first book we're reading is There's No Place Like Space by Dr. S- no. The, the, by Tish Rabe. Well, <laughs> I feel silly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hmm, okay. We thought this would be nice because stars mm-hmm. were in the dark. Okay. I'm the cat in the hat and we're off to have fun. We'll visit the planets, the stars, and the sun. There is no place like space. I will prove it to you. Your mother will not mind at all if I do. Jump in, here we go. We will fly up so high. We can dance on the moon and play games in the sky. We will swing past the stars and in case you have missed them, you'll soon see... The planets in our solar system. There are nine of these planets that circle the sun, and soon you'll be able to name every one. Every one? Every one. Mercury is close to the sun's burning light. It is hot in the daytime, but freezing at night. On Venus, the weather is always the same. Hot, dry, and windy with no chance of rain. Can you guess the next planet? Well, here is a clue. It is my home, and home to Thing 1 and Thing 2. You have been living on it each day since your birth. It is third from the sun. It is our planet. Earth! It spins all the time, round and round like a top. It turns once every day, and it never will stop. This question had Thing 1 and Thing 2 in a tizzy. If if the Earth... eh, If the Earth is always spinning, why don't we feel dizzy? We don't feel the earth as it spins on its way, because we're spinning right with it right now every day. Next here is Mars. It's the color of rust. We sneeze here because it is covered with dust. Travel to Jupiter and you will find it is bigger than all other planets combined. Whoa. That's big. (laughs) Saturn has rings. It's so light. Who would think? It could float in an ocean and not even sink. A planet can have satellites that surround it. Uranus has lots of these objects around it. There are colors in space. I will show some to you. Neptune, you see, is a beautiful blue. If you lived on Pluto, it would not be nice. Some astronomers think it is covered with ice. It is chilly and cold every night and all day, for the sun's just a speck in the sky far away. An astronomer studies what's up in the sky. Then two wants to be one. In fact, so do I. We have seen all nine planets, now here is a trick to remember their names and remember them quick. Say... Mallory, Valerie, Emily, Meetsas just served us 999 pizzas. That seems hard to remember. Yeah. (laughs) The first letter of each of these words is the same as the first letter in each of the planets you name. Pizza, pizza. (laughs) Hmm. Okay. Now here is a game you can play in the skies. Connect all the stars you can see with your eyes. It's star dot to dot. Use your imaginations and you'll see big pictures we call... Constellations. A dog, the great bear, and Leo the lion, Taurus the bull, and a hunter, Orion. A star in the sky may look small like a dot, but it's really a big glowing ball and it's hot. And there's one star by far that's our favorite one. We can't live without it. The star called... (gasps) The sun! From the Earth, it looks big. There is one reason why. It's the closest to Earth of the stars in the sky. But be careful and never look right at the sun. Your eyes would get hurt and that would not be fun. How big is the sun? We just heard right this minute. A million of our Earths could all fit right in it. Oh, look at the time. We must go very soon, but first we must take a quick look at the moon. The moon does not shine in the sky in the night, but like a big mirror reflects the sun's light. The universe is a mist. 
mysterious place. We are only just learning what happens in space. So I brought you a present to look in the sky. Just put this telescope up to your eye. Oh dear, I must go fly back up to the stars and take things one and two out to dinner on Mars. There's lots to discover and it might be you who looks up in the sky. And find something that's new. Well, there's can the hat. On the moon. <laughs> oh, wow, there's a glossary. You don't think we need to read all that. And all this further <laughs> reading. This is like, wow. Yay! An index, wow. This is really, like, advanced. <laughs> and I've never seen a... Kids um, book like that had that. An index. Yay! Yay. Okay, that's that book one. one. Now we're going to read My Many Colored Days by Dr. Seuss. <laughs> For real this time. <laughs> awesome art. Would you like to start? Some days are yellow. Some are blue. On different days, I'm different too. Can you hold it? Yeah. You'd be surprised how many ways I change on different colored days. On bright red days, how good it feels to be a horse and kick my heels. On other days, I'm other things. On bright blue days, I flap my wings. Some days, of course, feel sort of brown. Then I feel slow and low, low down. Then comes the yellow day, and wee! <laughs> I am a busy, buzzy bee. That's cute. Except that I just got stung the other day. <laughs> then all of a sudden, I'm a circus seal. On my orange days, that's how I feel. Green days, deep, deep in the sea. Cool and quiet fish, that's me. On purple days, I'm sad. I... How does that work? Grown. I've grown, I drag my tail, I walk alone. <laughs> but when my days are happy pink, it's great to jump and just not think. Then comes my black days, mad and loud. I howl, I growl at every cloud. Then comes a mixed up day, and wham! I don't know who or what I am. But it all turns out all right, you see. And I go back to being me. Aww. Aww. Never read that one. I love this one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now finally, we have Go to Bed, Fred. <laughs> A.K.A. All of the Babies. Baby's new collective name is Fred. <laughs> okay. It's time for bed, Fred. T take off your socks, Mr. Fox. Take off your wig, Mrs. Pig. Park your truck, rubber duck. Turn off the water, little otter. Brush without fuss, hippopotamus. Hand me a towel, baby owl. Time to floss, albatross. What teeth does he have? Fluff your pillow, armadillo. Give me a hug, ladybug. <laughs> now go to sleep, little sheep. See you later. I'm sorry. <laughs> See you later, alligator. In a while, crocodile. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's time for bed. Good night, Fred. Oh, Fred. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That was a good quick one. <laughs> okay. Well, that means it's bedtime for all the babies, too. Yay. we now known as Fred. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, yeah. Thanks for watching, you guys. Go to bed, Fred. <laughs> <laughs> and or good night or whenever. <laughs> uh, Thanks for watching. Bye bye. bye. bye.